Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Brandon, a neuroscience and immunology student at the University of Toronto. And as you guys know, my first year has officially finished. So in celebration of that, I decided to make a video about 21 things that I wish I knew before coming to the University of Toronto. So um, it's gonna be broken down into three things. Number one, U of T in general, its environment, and the part that everyone wants to hear, how to be academically successful at the University of Toronto. Before you guys watch this video though, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel, and also check out my playlist about U of T up there. All right, let's go. Okay, so U of T in general. So the University of Toronto is Canada's most prestigious university. Um, there's a lot of students from around the world that come to this institution and give up admissions, scholarships to their top universities in their respective countries. I think it's something growing up near U of T is we take for granted because you know U of T is down the road. But definitely something that I wish I knew better before going to U of T. Number two, it has a very, very high standard of education. We're often exposed as students to higher levels of teaching compared to other universities. For example, um, Western MedSci is an excellent program and we're, we're under an excellent university, but we're doing stuff at U of T that they're, they're not doing. So we do uh, formal lab reports, Western MedSci does not. Just an example, no, don't hate me Western people. So number three, the University of Toronto, we all know is very academically driven, but we don't know, we often brush over the fact that they're they have a lot of strong extracurriculars and clubs as well that not only make you a better student, but also a better person. Number four, students at the University of Toronto are the most driven I've ever seen in my life. You often see them do things that are way beyond their call and, and it just makes you feel more motivated to just get to their level. Number five, professors and faculty members, they're just, they're just God. They're doing everything and they're, just, they're so nice. They're willing to talk to you, willing to get you involved. And, you know, you feel like... Now we move on to the University of Toronto's environment. So as you guys know, um, U of T is cutthroat. Everyone says you, you think of U of T and you think super competitive. And yes, that's true. Something I wish I knew is how competitive that really was. Uh, there's a lot of people who deliberately put you down just so that they can succeed. An example would be one of my friends who would just like leave their lab notebook out and ask someone to watch it while they use the washroom and they come back and their lab notebook's gone and so is that person. So, I mean, that's just life. That's just in every university in general. You just have to be more responsible and more careful. Now, on the positive side, everyone thinks U of T is very competitive, but they don't realize that at U of T is also very collaborative. There's a lot of times where there's group chats where people share notes and textbooks and they help each other out on assignments and everything. And that's just because, you know, a, a university's environment doesn't make the people change who they are. And all, more often than not, the people are all, all willing to help. Another thing is, in universities all across the world, it, people have the stigma that it's very hard to make friends. But in reality, you know, you're as a first year student, you go into university, you don't know anyone, chances are the person standing next to you also feels the same way. So it's very easy to start up a conversation and become friends. Something else that I really wish I knew before coming to U of T was the amount of interaction between your friends and professors. There's a lot of times where universities would hold with the University of Toronto would host events where you get, you're able to interact with your friends as well as meet your professors. There's also things such as tutorials and practicals in every university that basically encourage group work. Um, now we go on to the more dark side of U of T's environment and that is number one, academic integrity. It's not okay to cheat and University of Toronto takes this very seriously. Um, just as first year student, I had a bunch of lab reports and with each lab report that we wrote, there was a certain amount of students, like a, a lot, that would be kicked out of university just because it, it sounded similar to someone else. Welcome to U of T. <laughs> also in U of T, they're very unforgiving if you're irresponsible. They don't really tell you that, oh, you have an assignment due today, you have something else due tomorrow. It's literally just up to you. They say it one time, they write it in like the, the fifth tab of this, the fifth sub page of this website that you have to go to. And if you don't see it, then. Now we get to the part that a lot of people want to hear how to be successful at the University of Toronto. So to open, I think U of T does a really good job in allowing students to have the opportunities to be successful. There's a lot of things that they offer, whether it's scholarships, fellowships, research positions, internships, all these things that you just have to go and find. So if you put the effort in, you're gonna be able to be in those positions to be successful. Number two, you can be a 4.0 student. I think 
a lot of times university is a great equalizer because it just puts everyone on a level playing field and it really just matters on the effort you put in. I wish I knew that before going to university because it would give me like really just a lot of comfort because if you put in a lot of effort and you study the right way, you're gonna get, you're gonna be successful with your grades and everything. So the University of Toronto and its grades. So a lot of times people going into university don't know this, but each university has a certain median, course median that they have to reach. And if they don't reach it, let's say their course median is like a 80, and people get like 70, then they're gonna do something called curving, which is basically push everyone's mark up a little bit until they reach the course median. However, in U of T, the course median is not 80. It is a 60 to a 65% in all classes. So let's say if all students do exceptionally well that year, they're gonna do something called curving down, which is push everyone's mark back. So the median falls between 60 to 65% range. On the contrary, if it was too low, they made a test extremely hard and everyone's getting like 30s, 40%, they're gonna push everyone's mark up until the median is a 60 to 65%. Uh, something else that I really wish did not exist, that is called something called GPA, grade point average. And I looked at the, the stats and everything, in U of T, it's known to be a hard university and it is. The GPA, are, is a, we have a 4.0 scale and 4.0 is at 85%. Now, this seems fair, because U of T is pretty hard compared to other programs, other universities. And the thing about GPA is if you have, let's say a 79, that'll be a 3.3. And if you look at the chart, 79 is a 3.3, but an 80 is a 3.7. There is no such thing as a 3.4, 3.5, 3.6. You just go from a 79 to an 80, which is a 3.3 to a 3.7. And so that there could be a 0.1 of a percent that just gets you from a 79.4 to a 79.5 and that changes the GPA by 0.4 percent well not percent 0.4 it sucks moving on the University of Toronto is notorious for making their students work really hard to maintain their grades from the first week of university right when first year started I was immediately hit with tons of seemingly never-ending readings and assignments that I would have to do and that's something that you just have to get used to. I wish I knew that before so I could prepare myself mentally for that, but going to U of T means never ending work until your semester is over. Um, something else that I would, would like to add to that is in order to be successful uh, in that sense is you need to have exquisite time management skills. If you don't know how to time manage your time, use this summer to figure that out because if you don't know how to manage your time, you're gonna be on the back end you're gonna be like catching up to for everything and it's just not gonna be a good time. So really, I wish I figured that out before going into U of T because that would have really helped my first year, first semester. Next up, we have independence. In order to be successful at the University of Toronto, you have to be able to hold your own hand and do your own stuff. You can't have someone telling you what to do and when stuff or do because that's just not the case. It's you and you're responsible for yourself, your grades, your health, your well-being, everything. It's all up to you. Um, next thing that I really wish I knew was, it sounds silly, but commuting takes time. And obviously you think, oh, I have to ride a bus to the school, whatever. You know it takes time, but you don't realize how much time it takes until you start commuting. Find things to do on the bus or on your transit that will make you more productive, um, such as listening to like a textbook or something, or listening to a lecture do like small things like that that really maximize your time and it's something that I was caught off guard with that like I would have spent I counted it I spent like the first week of university I spent like 15 hours a week more than 15 hours a week commuting it's just not a fun time the last two points are in regards to textbooks and other applications so as you know textbooks we see we think they're mandatory but don't buy textbooks. If anything, get PDFs or stuff, stuff for free that you can find on the web because you save a lot of money that way. And, and a lot of my classes, we didn't even use the textbook at all. So if I bought them, that would have been a complete waste. Last final thing is external applications. So a lot of times in order to gain certain marks, let's say like 10, 5% of your class, you have to purchase access to this um, external software that you have to log on to complete and they cost quite a bit of money they add up and so I really wish I knew that like you have to pay basically you have to pay like 60 70 dollars for each application in order to get 5% of your mark if you don't pay 
you don't get five percent in assassin all right so that wraps up today's video and before you guys go i would like to leave you with three final things that i would like to tell myself before starting at the university of toronto number one is that your university experience is exactly what you make it if you want to be successful and attain that 4.0 cgpa then it really is just a term it's just it's just in terms of your effort and how much effort how bad you really want it and number two just because the of t is harder doesn't mean that it's worse I think you have to have like a mindset shift and think that being in an academically more challenging institution means that you're able to do more you're able to be equipped with better things for future pursuits in your academic career number three and most important i think is i would tell myself to prepare for university in the summer prepare by making a set routine schedules um just being more accountable for everything you you do start taking note of your time because time is the most valuable resource and in university that really just gets amplified and so that being said i hope all these tips have helped you and gave you some insight into what the university of toronto is like if you guys enjoyed this video please feel free to leave a like and comment down below along with any other extra tips that you may have if you guys are new consider subscribing to the channel and check out my other videos i'm going to be posting uh, my first year recap of u of t very soon so stay tuned for that until then stay healthy stay happy and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.